Jets running back Matt Forte has turf toe and could miss this weekend's home contest against the Jaguars. Forte suffered the injury on a red zone run in the third quarter of Sunday's win over the Dolphins in the Jets' home opener. He sat out Wednesday's practice in Florham Park. Forte has no idea how the injury in his left big toe will affect his availability for this weekend. We have to wait to see how it feels if I'm able to practice, Forte said in the Jets' locker room. And we'll go from there. Forte previously dealt with a turf toe on his right foot in his rookie season in 2008. That year, he rushed for 1,238 yards and eight touchdowns. He also caught 63 passes for 477 yards and four touchdowns. It's tough to deal with because the nature of your position at running back, obviously, a lot of pressure on your toes when you're running and making cuts, even blocking, Forte said. I fought through it before. There's a number of things you can do, tape it, orthotics, all kinds of different stuff. I'm taking every angle possible to get back on the field as fast as possible. The Jets signed RB Travers Cadet on Wednesday as insurance for Forte's injury. They placed WR chair and peak, high ankle sprain, on injured reserve to make room on a roster. Peak is a candidate to return early from IR, according to Todd Bowles. Travers Cadet was cut by the New Orleans Saints a few weeks ago. Travers Cadet was cut by the New Orleans Saints a few weeks ago. Butch Dill AP, friendly competition. On Tuesday, Jet safety Jamal Adams received a direct message on Instagram from his former LSU teammate Leonard Fournette, a Jags rookie running back. He was kind joking around, saying, Hey, do you remember me? I want to trade jerseys with you. Adams said Wednesday. So I kind of liked it and said, yes sir, we'll definitely do it. I know it's friendly competition. When we're on the field, we go at it. It's been like that since LSU days. Dot dot it's going to be a great matchup. Adams and Fernick played together for three seasons from 2014 to 16. Adams said the practice battles were heated. Nothing but collisions, Adams said. He's got me, I've got him, and we would go back and forth. He's an outstanding running back, one of the best players I've ever played with, and I can say that with a lot of respect. Adams expects to confront Fernet at some point during Sunday's bout. Fernet has rushed for 199 yards on 57 carries through his first three career games. We're definitely going to meet in the hole, Adams said. It's just football. It's going to happen. No ill will. Jags coach Doug Marin was in contention for the Jets' head coaching job in 2015 before the team decided to hire Todd Bowles. Marin said he doesn't harbor any ill will toward the organization. I've been up for a lot of jobs. I just look at it as when you don't get a job, it's just they're not the person that you're looking for, which actually works out better, he said. I've had conversations with everyone. I've had conversations with Woody Johnson. I've seen him. I have no feelings at all. Injury report. Quarterback Josh McCown, ribs, was added to the Jets injury report Wednesday for the first time this season, but he participated fully in practice. DeConey Ely, excused, T. Jordan Leggett, knee, LB Josh Martin, ankle, and O.T. Brandon Shell, shoulder, didn't practice. T. Eric Tomlinson, elbow, and G. Brian Winters, abdomen, were limited. Winters missed Sunday's win.